last time, so uh, I'll go for a bit. Um, been having a lot of trouble with the freelance site I mostly use today, so as usual, gotta take breaks to go do work and stuff for that, but you know, who knows? Maybe I missed all of them for today. Oh well. I did pretty good over the last three days, so should be fine. And there's a viewer. Although that viewer might just be my computer in the other room that has like has a tab open. Mm, game by dog. Hey, thanks, Dax. I plugged it in for me. He's a good little f dunce. All right. An hour 44. Game one. Here we go. All right. Now I can learn how to scavenge or whatever. Talk. Talk to who? Oh, yes, he's there. Shooting, Jack. Never thought we already did this. No, you can't skip. You can only pause. Oh, okay. You can triangle to skip. Where's the guy? It said talk to the guy. Maybe I gotta go outside to do that. Hmm. Can I like check the larger map? Uh oh, show map. There we go. Cool. Uh this is not helpful. I need want to know where Azumer was. Ah, because I gotta go all the way across the friggin' city. There's like too many guards. Can't can't just steal. Oh, oh no. They kind of look grayish when they pop in, so they look like they are the Zoomer, but they are not Zoomer. Rolling and jumping. Whoa, not that way. Ah, there's one. Go. Is it stealing? Nobody was in it. That's how cars work, right? It's a little messed up that you can just drive wherever. I guess that's the ideal everybody thinks of when they're like, oh, hover cars, you can just drive anywhere. It's like, it sounds really dumb and dangerous. I mean, if a if a cop saw you, they would probably try and stop you. Whereas they do not. Square, squares break. Uh, so unintuitive. I mean, TBH. The most intuitive thing is generally R two for gas, L two for break, but. As with Jack 1, they didn't know that yet. They're still figuring stuff out. They fi figured out some things like the camera a little bit more, but. The God damn it. Quit. Forget it. Go two feet. Stop. Two feet. Stop. Get out of the way. Uh, this is nightmare city. It's unlivable, man. Rent is so goddamn high. Utilities never work. I had to fix my own water. I had to fix everybody's own water. Why do we even live here? Let's go out in the swamps. You just got some big old goofy-eyed lizard boys. They just hop in. Munch. I'm not. Let him hang out. Just be friends with the guy. Oh, oh now they don't see me with the Gatling gun thing. Turret. Turret's the word. It'd be rain sometimes. I shouldn't have bothered watering my tree earlier. I was literally thinking, like, it's kind of cloudy. It might rain later, but I was like, eh. I do need water though. I 
God. Whenever these little lines pop up, like, oh, it's traffic, it literally makes no sense. And they just move so slow and stop randomly. There's no stop signs or anything. Keep moving. G like in GTA like you don't have to follow the traffic stuff but like at least you can see what the flow of traffic is like you can see when they're gonna stop Sweeping because there's stoplights and stuff so you have like at least kind of an idea of where people are gonna be rather than just we're just uh, zipping around doing whatever sometimes we're like kind of in a lane Whatever. Alpha. We're on route. Whatever. Get out of here. Get out of here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm going up. I'm not going up. Oh, jeez. Oh, Cameron didn't catch up quick. Can I, like, drift? No. That's the thing I miss most about the first game Zoomer, is that you could kind of, like, whip around. Do I have to stay over this, or if I go over the water? Okay. I wasn't sure if it was just like you levitate over whatever's below you. So like if you went over the water, you just bleh, drop. Get fucked. Whoa, let's jump a little too far there, Jack. All right. So why am I going outside? I'm guessing to talk to that guy. Where he at? There he at. Hello, cherries. Ready to hunt a few metalheads? Don't call me that. Stick close and watch my six. It's gonna be fun. Don't talk like this, Phil Lamar. Please. Oh yeah, I have a gun now. Oh, big metal head now. Follow me. He got, he got stick. I'm trying, I'm trying. Hurry up, kid! I don't have all day. I'm trying. I, I can't grab gun. anything with the gun. It doesn't let you grab edges when you have gun out. Which I guess makes sense, but... That seems unnecessary to me. This way. Was, was he about to make some kind of silly quip, but he was like, No, it's not the time. As if it's ever the time. Dastard. Now, stop. Stop it. Stop it with your tickle stick. Don't do what tickle stick. But this is tingly. Get out of here. Get out of here. Man, this gun sucks. It is the first gun, me? so. Drop the bridge. I presume I will get other guns. This is the worst angle for this. They're Jump up and mostly coming and from the camera direction. Drop that lift cap while I hold them all. Oh, mate, I'm supposed to be doing something here. How do I drop it? Wait. Quick, drop the bridge. What do you mean drop the bridge? How? Oh, man, I got to throw away my gun, which is super awkward because this is hot from the pad. What? Okay. Why is that how this bridge works? Let's it's fine. Across the it's fine. I just. If it is within character for him to just There's shout commands without explaining himself. While I charge up the peace oh. He could be talking like that. I gotta cover him. Get out of here. Get out of here. Sir. Sir. Whoa. That's one. Ride metalhead. 
Wow. Let's get to the You're next so time. cool. You can shoot a gun. What do you do? Stop. Sir, stop. No, I don't want to shoot him. No. So, I'm going to get a lot of those friggin' orbs. Fish capsule. I, say, shoot first, ask I need 25 for the first upgrade. Focus. I'm almost, I'm almost there. Uh, something to do with the dark power that I don't use. There's the it is there. I could hit L2 at any time and go bananas. Cover me. Go stupid. Oh jeez. So even though he's stronger, this is still an escort mission. Well, that was pretty easy. Cool, guys. Boom, baby! One less metal head to think about. <laughs> Next target. Mm, I'm gonna play Skateboard. Can't stop thinking about it now that I know it's on Switch. That bird, he flapped. And he skate. Drop that lift cap while I hold them off. Better not lose me my... my... That's it because I can jump E. I'm the one that's gonna do that. Okay. I don't even need to get on it. I'm full up on dark power, I don't need that. Get when I go over to the box. Uh, yeah, sure, whatever. I mean, you're the one who's gonna be doing it, so it doesn't matter to me. Get back to the Yeah, here. Go away. Go away. No. Die. Okay. Now that's what I call blowing someone's mind. <laughs> yeah, I killed the man. Whoa. Oh, wow, you can jump you like that, and you're making me bring the bit br 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 bridges out. <laughs> The little boys. I will harm big boy, but not a little man. Hey, okay, get out of here. Oh, this is a dark mode. So it works out. Going blanky mode. Avery Johnson. I guess so. This is just Sonic Unleashed. Y'all stole it. Although I think this came out way earlier. Get out of here, bro. Dark Mode did not help. It was slightly stronger melees, I think. God, this guy's almost dead. You can't take two bites from a boy. You can't take two dang bites from a boy. Get out of here! Ah! All right, let's try it again. Hold on up. Here we go. Oh, good. It doesn't make you do the cutscene again. That's that's here good. Here comes trouble. Keep my 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 head tools. I presume because they're not giving me any more. Follow me. Follow Pete. <laughs> it's not so good. Oh, I didn't even have to win this that really. This way! Just be, just be glad you're alive, Daxter. In this far flung future past that alternate dimension. Man, this guy again sucks. Even this orange guy, I'd do better if just hit him with melee. Did you miss me? Uh, 
really, but I mean, you know, it's been a few seconds. Uh, Absence heart ponder. Let's get across the bridge before they come back. You know what they say. There's our first target. Keep the other creatures back while I charge up the peacemaker. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. I'm curious how many of like missions like this they're gonna be. Mm, a few. I, as far as I can tell, there wasn't like a percentage marker on the save file like with the last one, but I was looking very hard. So I have no idea how far in I am. I'm guessing it's gonna be a longer game than the last one. Watch out! Watch out! Don't take bites from the boys! I hope there's not, like, run of fire on, because I am not trying to miss him. Get out of here. Get out of here. Uh. Boom, baby! One less metalhead to think about. Uh, sure. Sounds racist, but... These metal heads. I'm bridging. Okay, you can do it with the gun. It just wasn't working for the first couple times. That's a lot less annoying, man. I'm faster than you. I'm faster than you. <laughs> Interesting to be doing an What's escort mission with a character who is objectively, like, more equipped and, like, stronger than me. So used to it being, like, super weak characters. No! I don't even know why I'm guarding this treasure! <laughs> Good friggin' video. Now that's what Memes! I call blowing someone's mind. Memes. Excuse me, sir. Memes. Uh, what is your favorite meme? Oh, uh, the French art of meme? Uh, yeah, let's try some of that first, right now. Waste the sucker! Uh, I tell you. You're, you're fun sometimes. By the way, there was that video you posted on Twitter, Coco, that was like, um... It was like Jeff Goldblum as like an anime character? That was from like the new Boss Baby, right? I did not realize he was the villain. Still don't want to see it. Oh, we will. We, there's no way that our curiosity can keep us away forever. What? Boss baby? Yeah, oh yeah, he wasn't trying at all. He was cashing in that paycheck. As he, like, literally, as he was recording the lines, he was taking a picture of the check with his phone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that even it's, it's like boss baby, but it's like it still pays. Yeah, by like by union rates, it's like a still a pretty decent paycheck. And also, they won't mind them. It's similar to uh, Ratchet and Clank. They made the Ratchet and Clank movie, and they discussed for quite a while just getting celebrities to voice them instead of you know like James Earl Taylor and the crew. And they're like. The reasoning they always make is like, well, no, people want as big names. They, they're not going to go if they don't see big names. But it's like, well, the way we become big names is by being in movies like that. So stealing away our character and giving them to a celebrity so that they can further their own career is nonsense. Yeah. Yeah, and let it be like a cameo. That's more appropriate. 
They'll make it like whatever that that this like way. Snow Dog movie with Jeremy Renner, or like Robots, where like literally even the mailbox was Jay Leno for no reason. Or you could. You and McGregor. Yeah, no, they're all ce literally all celebrities. Did you miss me? Um, there was also... What was it? Uh, you could do it like South Park. Where South Park, all of the, like, animals were voiced by celebrities. Like, uh, Mr. Kitty, I'm pretty sure, was, uh, Seinfeld. And so, like, they would get real celebrities, but not to play themselves, just always to be, like, just a cat or a dog or something. And that was, like, at the peak of Seinfeld, too, so that was, like, a hilarious, like, way to handle that cameo. It is one step away from Brad Pitt's cameo in Deadpool 2. So funny. <laughs> Metal yeah. Let's get to the next target. He just pops up for two seconds and immediately. And each time he is more famous than he was the last. And he gets like less each time. That, that, that's the thing. It's like Seth MacFarlane can be funny, but like he needs to have like other writers there with him to like. the second scumbag. If you give him too much power then he's just gonna only do his jokes, and his jokes can be funny, but they need to be, like, peppered in with, like, other jokes. Seth McFarnland. Boom, baby! One Seth McFarnland. <laughs> that's farm. what you should name your next Stardew Valley farm. Is Seth McFarmland. Drop that lip Great, no time to celebrate. You say this, but then you were the slowest one in this game. Quit dragging your dang pizzas. Get over here and stay close. Watch my six while I toast this bad boy. Oh, yeah, watch your, your six, your seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve. No. Get out of here. Oh, okay. So there's not friendly fire, but he will block the fire. So you can't shoot through him. I guess, I mean, there's logic to that. Oh, that's brutal! Oh my now god, you just what I call flopped down like that? Time. I never noticed the first few times. That was like a really dark, like, way to handle that for a, a kind of a kid's game? I feel like this is supposed to be more of a team game. Face the sucker. <laughs> Here, little man. Get out of here, little guys. Go and get got. Gotta thread the needle this time. Okay, let's go dark mode. Yeah, it still takes two like hits to get them. I don't know why I, dark mode is any better. I guess I'm a little faster. Probably. Currently, it's just like, doesn't seem like all that useful, and it doesn't last for very long at all. Granted, it's really easy to do it back up. Oh my god, there's so many guys! So many freaking fellas! Everything's Kameda. Like even the like the textures of the walls and stuff. <laughs> yeah. 
Kameda with his like swirly eyed uh, oh, face. Look out! We got company. What do you mean look out? I'm not even over there. Go out, dude. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Hey, my gun's jammed. Take over. Well, that didn't work. Get him, while I I'm starting to see why this is considered such a hard game. Let me, let me bring the mic down a little bit here. That's it. Yeah. All right. Let's try this again. I decided I was gonna go. stream at like one, but then I decided I should dust out my computer because it's been it's been having some heating problems. Um. That move, like it took longer than I expected to. I had to wait for the to cool down first. It was just, it was so nerve-wracking, and that's the thing, is like, I know computers well enough to know that, you know, I know how to safely do stuff, I wasn't even touching any of the components, I was just hitting it with some, like, computer duster. So it, it wasn't like the, the, it wasn't even that risky, but like, for some reason, because I've had, like, you know, bloated batteries and stuff in the past, and had to replace them and all that. I'm just like, I don't. This way. Yeah, I don't want to mess around with that nonsense. I was. Yeah, I don't know. I was just like super shaky and nervous all the whole time. So I got it done. A decent amount of time. I'm like, right, right. fine. It's also I have a Ma it's a MacBook, and that's the big thing. The difference is like. Apple, I really, really love, you know, how it handles uh, accessories, which as someone who works in audio and has external sound cards and microphones and all sorts of stuff, it's, um, it's really good to just be able to plug something in and be like, yep, it's, it's all good, it's just working, but uh, when you need to do any kind of repair, even something as minor as just like opening it up to dust out the fans, it's such a pain. You have to get like very specialized screwdrivers, and it's like all these like internal clips you gotta snap open, and it sounds like they're breaking while you do it. And you, it's just, it's annoying. But I get it. It's so they can get more money off of repairs. It makes sense, you know, from a business standpoint. But fuck capitalism. I, I wanted to just be like a Windows computer where you can just pop out the battery, pull a couple of screws, and just, and you're done. Simple. Easy. Don't gotta worry about- It's mainly being able to take the batteries out, because, like, the batteries in a Mac are glued in. It's not like an external little battery pack that just pops out. So it's, like, kind of nerve-wracking that you are working with a computer like that. I don't know. I want to get, like, an actual desktop PC. There's a Shoot first, ask questions later. And like, There's the to put stuff. together a computer, it's only like 1500 bucks to get like all the, the components Cover you me. need. Back in the day, now like scalpers are ridiculous for computer components, so it's gotten really expensive. Frick. This is hard. I plan to do that at some point. Or maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll just get an Alienware. It's like twice as much as like, what it would be if you just got it, um, if you made it yourself, but, like, they're all good components. Like, you get your money's worth, but most of the money is just going into service, and, like, ah, all the cases look ugly. It's similar to the gaming chairs, where they just look really silly to me and not super down. Um... I just gotta save up. I gotta pay off my debt. I got so much debt from 2020. This was a rough year. But I'm, I'm at the point where I'm gonna be able to pay it off in the next few months. That, that's good. And once I do... Yeah, I'm just gonna focus on saving. Double jump, you fool! Did you miss me? 
Let's get a call. But you don't want to ah, piss what me the... off. Okay. I accidentally spun into him and he shot me. There's our first target. Keep the other creatures God back. Damn it. Charge up the peacemaker. I am starting to see A why this game is considered so hard and B. I'm starting to remember how all of the games around this era had annoying escort missions. Like I get it. The idea behind an escort mission Let's get to the next start. seems sound, but in practice, like it was coming out at a time when AI was just not strong enough to make it actually fun. Like, now, they're able to do escort stuff that's, that's pretty fun. Metalheads, but, like, Shoot first, ask questions back later. around now, it was, it was annoying as hell. At least this guy can kind of protect the himself. Era? Ever, ever. When's that coming out? The 20th? Sports for next Friday. Nice. I'm excited. I'm excited for my old pony. It has been like a couple years since the Boom, last one baby. ended, right? One less metal head to think about. Next target. And while yeah, I was pretty disappointed with the last few seasons, it's like it still does hold a place in my heart. And these new ponies look very fun. Yeah, so, almost two years. That's true. Quick, drop the bridge. Yeah, well, the comics in general have always been kind of better than most of the show. No time to celebrate. Yeah. It's also, it's like... Being comic, like, it doesn't have to be as episodic. Whereas, like, the show, it's like, it has to be kind of episodic, because you have to assume that a lot of people are not catching every episode. But, like, with a comic, it's like, you can you can have longer storylines. Oh, here might have close. some work. Hold on. Hold on. 14 more seconds. Stay with me. I'm staying. I'm right here. I am. I am just vibing. Stay I close, am. I am just scavenging. Here. I'm like a race Star Wars. From the film Star Wars. Oh, god damn it! I ran out of time? And because I was hanging out too long, he was just like, I'm bored. Mission failed. Whoo! Yeah, I see what people are saying. This shit's annoying. Alright, I'm gonna take a break to go do this work stuff. So I'll be right back. Uh, I'm not gonna run an ad until the top of the hour, but uh, I'll be our beat. Don't go anywhere. Don't touch the internet now. Be right back with more. Jack 2. In just a minute.
back live on the air. Hello, everyone. I am back. Okay, got the work stuff done. I want to talk real quickly about a really annoying trend I've been getting recently go. in voiceover scripts, which is uh, they will write a hashtag into the script. Well, the one was like, um, University of Kansas or something, and it was like, they're, they're the ruse, the kangaroos. And so they had hashtag ruse do in the script. So I read it, hashtag ruse do. And then I got the revision, uh, don't say hashtag, just say ruse. It's like, why'd you write it as a hashtag then? Just write it the way you want it read. That's always the frustrating thing to me, is they'll do that, or the most common one is like slashes. They'll just put like, uh, this slash that, and it's like, how do you read that? Do you pause? Do you say slash? Like, it's a URL, obviously you'll read, read it as slash because they need to know how to type it, but like, like, if you just put in a slash, it's like, dude, sometimes they mean or, it's annoying, just write Literally, right, word for word, what you want said. It's as simple as that. And the only time you should leave it ambiguous is if it doesn't matter. And you'll be okay with either. Alright, that's Keep that's enough ranting for right now. I gotta me. focus. This game's hard. <laughs> Edgy, you got a gun, you steal cars, you're running from the police. Boom. That's one, ride metalhead. Let's get yep, to the yep, next target. Yep, yep, yep. Hold on. Hold on, I'm gonna grab this purple juice. Excuse me, sir, I'm gonna like some purple juice. Damn, you gotta shoot. There's like 30 of these metalheads each time, you gotta shoot them like five times each. Metalheads, I shoot first, Was there a way for me to upgrade later. my gun before this or something? Because, like, we'll goddamn. There's the second scumbag. Sitting Cover me! Yeah, 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 I'm covering, I'm covering. I was, uh, I was reading a, a, a specific Twitter profile earlier, and one of their posts was like, uh, it was just a screenshot from like, uh, Mario 64, and their caption was, Wahoo! Wee! Banjo is better! Woohoo! I'm like, agreed, but Next damn, time. that's so like, petty. <laughs> can't wait to play Banjo Kazooie again. That's just my life. My life is playing Banjo Kazooie and waiting for when I can play Banjo Kazooie again. I would just play it on loop, but it's like you gotta give yourself a little bit of time, you know. You gotta. Great, no time to celebrate. Right? Uh huh. I want a new banjo game. Microsoft, please. You guys bought Rare. You can at least let them make ra Rare game. Watch my six. That's a Rare I game right there. The trick is to not hit the pipe. <laughs> Oh, weird. Right. Oh no. Now that's what I call blowing someone's mind. Oh. Uh, can I... Can I see how much health I have, please? Won't show me my- I guess that just means it's full? I wanna be sure, because I don't wanna waste an opportunity to grab help. If I need it. No, please, little green man. Don't leave, I don't want to hurt you. Alright, this is where I always get stuck. This is the part where it gets real hard, because they can come from like a bunch of different places. And they got the tongues. Oh, see, look, this guy snuck up so fast. Ah! Get him. I should just hang out, but I can't hit the guy because then he'll shoot me like an asshole. Ah, 
Yeah, get out of here. They're so fast. Just going to back and forth. I guess you just shoot blindly and assume there's one on each side. Okay, I get to this part and then I get across the way and I die. <laughs> but I actually have full health this time, so I think I'm good. Well, I'm, I don't have full health, I don't think. I can't tell because it won't show me my health. Okay, I do. That guy has a four. This guy too. See, that's how I know I'm at a new spot. Whoa! Get out of here! I guess I got one guy before, though. Look at that! They get you so quick! Get out of here! Somebody got you! Damn! That's the thing that's annoying about them always falling down every time. Is you can't tell when they actually are down, or when they're just doing it for the one animation. Like... Save that for when they're actually dead, please. So I, n I can tell that they're gone. It's kind of important to know when you've defeated your enemy in any adversarial combat. Sun Tzu said that. Sun Tzu said, Jack 2, game too hard. Thanks. I did my best. He's just a hard ass, but we'll just say he's just a teddy bear. So do I gotta do anything else? Oh, what was it? Or oh, I think that was the... So what do I do? Let me check my missions. Talk to the Oracle, talk to crew. Or wait, no, isn't this guy crew? Or was the... Oh wait, yeah, crew is the big old fat boy. Oh, did we loop? Oh. If we loop, then why don't we just stand over here? Oh my god, we did loop. You're so much smarter at this than I am. Can't handle 3D map. IRL, I have a decent sense of direction, but for some reason, video games, I can never keep track. I did turn my microphone back on, right? Hold on. Okay. Uh, yep, yep. Mm, yeah. Cool. <laughs> yeah, it also cannot show, um... Thing. What's it called? Um... Whoops! Uh, if it uh, if a trophy comes in, it's just like a glitchy block in the corner. Yeah, you'd think PlayStation would just show the trophy you got, but I guess they're not epic. Oh, okay. Why'd you just hop up there, bud? No, no, let me out. I want to talk to the man. Give, give oil. Give egg. I'm dead. You do well to rid the world of this metal scourge. As that sounds record, racist. I grant you. I don't like how we talk about the metalheads. Ah. Whoa. Okay, that definitely makes it feel better. Ah, oh, god damn it! My zoomer's gone, and now I'm a wanted. Yeah, that was visual. But you visually suck my nerves. Go, go, go! I gotta get back out of here. Jesus Christ! You're shooting civilians! Oh, Jesus! Oops. That's gonna have to wait a second. We might have a work thing here. What the? Oh, okay. That's where I'm at.
I can't tell her to go to her crate because she's in her crate. Don't you bark. You know this is, you know they're just making noises. What are you even gonna do? What if they broke right in here? What are you gonna do? You're gonna freak out and run away. You bark like you're gonna do something, dog, and then you just, just nope. Just, just hang out. Huff. Uh, I am in the water. I don't know... How do I get out? Oh, I can go out. Oh! Yeah! Zoomer! There we go. Whoa, crap. I'm trying to flee. you getting in the way. Exciting. I did get that thing, um, but we're almost at the top of the hour, so I'm just gonna... Oh no! Hey, Zuma! Ah, I'm dead. Uh, my god. Come on, dude. That wasn't a car. What? Why were we so much smaller than most of them then? Oh, I'm dodging bullets. I'm dodging bullets like the Matrix fella. Run after me all you want, bro. I don't give a heck and two. Don't give a heck, don't give a two. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go a little faster. You guys can't roll jump, so you're never gonna catch me. Look at that. Look at that. I got away because I roll jumped. Now I'm finally free. To be monkey. Here we go. Do not worry. Don't worry, I'm just monkey. I've got suspicious activity in this sector. Okay. I'm just gonna roll jump around. Is roll jumping suspicious? Dang, just got big old cracks in the ground. Somebody needs to elect a mayor who's gonna do a little more work, you know what I'm saying? Or, 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 may know. See, they have all this area to make it look like this city is big and expansive, but it's really just a bunch of, like, hallways. <laughs> ah, shit. Like, it's not like a grid like a city would be, it's just like a bunch of tubes. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir, this city is a hellhole. Uh, can't get around. You can keep saying that all you want, man. W what are you gonna describe, huh? Like, I am clearly a very noticeable person and a terrible driver, and yet you still never notice me until I actively, like, kill one of you, so... Pretty bad police work. Although that implies there's any kind of good police work. You know what I'm saying? A cab bap. All cops are bad at police work. You know what I'm saying? Can you agree? Look at that. That was a head on collision directly above a cop, and he's just like, I don't see anything. Mmm. True to life. 
Is this a commentary on the poor state of policing, even back in 2000? <laughs> Sweep all you want, bruh. Sweep all you want, bruh. You boys are turning out to be quite useful, eh? Uh, sure. Mm, I have another task for you. The sewers used to be a fabulous smuggling route for me before the Baron installed security devices. And before oh, no. those late night snack runs kept you from fitting out the front door. I bet you've Stop. hatched another brilliant plan in that hungry little brain of yours. So, who or what do we have to shake down, knock out, or blow up? Well, why do we bother having Jack I talk? He just says the things Daxter would say. Every like they didn't give him a different sides. personality. And I'll give you they a basically just split Daxter's lines in half succeed. and made him go brr 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 instead of hey, 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 hey. you know? Reeks worse than your breath at an oyster fest. Fuller of metalheads than your plate at a one-pass buffet. And of course, weapons more lethal than your ever so tiny whiteies on a hot summer day. Look, Donut Hole. He's very critical of this we man. Float around here looking hot and heavy, and you go roto root the pipes. We're not doing anything until you tell us why metalheads are trading with the Baron's forces. Oh, I should have had some bold meat after he. All I know is that the Baron cut a desperate deal with the metalhead leader. <sighs> Metalheads need eco, so the Baron supplies them with regular shipments. You're not really revealing return, anything I couldn't have guessed. The Metalheads agreed to attack the city just enough to satisfy the Baron's continued rule. Although I guess this is supposed to be yeah, Baby's first political last. conspiracy well, story. the Baron is running short on eco, eh? And the Metalheads are short on patience. Baron Praxis needs this wall to keep in power. Otherwise, the city would put the true ruler uh, on the throne. The real 1984. Is. Daxter and I are clear he supposed your to be gold or just yellow? We haven't forgotten about that weapon. He's got like two yellow teeth. I can't tell if they're supposed to be like gold or just like gross. Mm, piece of carn. Tooth shaped carn. But, uh, are they ever gonna give me multiple missions, or is it just this one? No. Yeah, that was like an unlockable thing, though. I mean, this is like a pretty early, like, open world game, so it could just be that there's only the one main storyline and not a lot of side mission stuff. Which might be a problem, I'm still having a decent time. It'd just be nice to have the, the, you know, the standard, uh, frustrate on the main part, go do some side stuff for a little bit, you know? Oh no! I accidentally hit the shooty button! And I'm meant to hit the, uh, the uppy button. Also, I think Baxter's the one with the gun when I'm driving? Oh my god, he is! Hey, 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 stop this now, bro. All I gotta do is outrun y'all, and it ain't hard when I can zoom! Supernova girl. That you get like a uh I guess there are the like challenges. Um like a a Bioshock Infinite style cover of that song. Zoom 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 Make my heart go boom 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 My Supernova girl God only knows what I'd do without you. Doors. Ouch. <laughs> that was not intentional. Okay. We're at the top of the hour, so I'm gonna run an ad, go do this this thing for work real quick. I'll be right back.
with more Jack 2, so don't go anywhere. Don't touch the internet dial. We'll be RB with more Jack P. Ooh. I should probably pause. <laughs> Just to be safe.
Okay, I am back. Apologies for the long break. Uh, I got another... As I finished up that other work thing, I got another work thing. And a shot at a couple other work things that ended up not going through, so... A bit of a hectic break. Sorry, I just did a bunch of jumping jacks. Get my blood flowing. Stay healthy. Anyways, let's, let's go into this. I think I'll probably go... To like two hours 15 to make up for how long that break was maybe I don't know I always just kind of try and find the uh, most natural place to stop if I can help it try buddy boy like you hmm? stop it stop it stop it Wish those were subtitled. If I am deaf, how am I supposed to know what you just said? Feels a might non inclusive. Ah! Ow! Oh! Wait. Ah! What? Is there one over here? Gotta get those gems. Nope. No, it's just a jump scare. the best solution for board game map and materials if your game needs a lot of maps? I mean, in terms of quality? You want vinyl. But, uh... In terms of just having maps, I've seen quite a few. One of the coolest ones I liked was, uh, you basically have a big spiral-bound notebook, and every time you change the map, you just turn to a new page in the notebook. That's a pretty good one. Um, I've seen that a couple times. The, uh, Gloomhaven Jaws of the Lion, which is, like, the, like, pared-down, more affordable Gloomhaven. Um, which is good, because that's a big-ass game. Uh, uses that, where it has, like, a small board with, like, hexes on it that you, like, stick under the book to give you a little more space than the book can do. But then, yeah, each individual place will have a different one. Seems pretty neat. I was, whoa, whoa! Oh, okay, that was supposed to happen. This is pretty scary. A lot of jump scares. Oh no. Oh no! Can you see them? Can you see them? In the darkness. It's the metalheads, baby. There they are. Oh no, I don't have enough goo to do the Ah, I was trying to do the dark mode so I could do the like dark bomb or whatever. Oh. Oh. Get out of here. No. Amazon? Amazon delivery person. That do be how they do. That's true, yeah. The, the, the dress markers are important. That's it. This is just uh, some advice. Yeah, that's pretty good advice. Uh, a lot of people don't have the mindset of like, what if an emergency happened? Because like, the general idea is, it happens to other people. I'm not going to have an emergency. I don't like that they sometimes go on all fours and other times just run like a man. Ah! That's not... 
And that is not correct. <laughs> uh, pushing all of those. Maybe those are just synonymous, far left and pathetic. At the very least, being far right and callous, pretty much. Yeah. Uh, oh, what you? Oh my god, it does so much damage! Which one? Which gif of him? There's like hundreds. It's a very gif show. I don't blame that people for having that as a deal breaker. Smoking is bad for you. As, as they say in Scott Pilgrim, smoking is evil. Um, for context for you, the reason he's doing that is because that's a Bart accidentally stumbles upon a a um a burlesque house that's a secret in the town, and so they start having him work the door, and yeah. Um, but then, yeah, he immediately walks back and he's like, What are you doing here, bar? And he explains, and it's it's a whole thing about them, like, basically explaining why, like, Hey, sex work is totally chill, you, you dunces. Whatever, we dance and show our butts. It's all cool. You ain't never seen a butt. I know you've seen some butts, reverend. <laughs> God, it does two damage each time. It's so ridiculous. Two turrets. Good work so far. This game is really hard. So why does it sometimes count the ones I did before and other times it does not? Oh no, falling. Mmm, so you were supposed to have enough. Just didn't do it. Alright, let's go, baby. Ba booms! Oh, gems! <laughs> much, much gem. I can't even get them all. Ah. <sighs> Thinking about that design question again. I appreciate that people are now thinking a lot more about sustainability when it comes to making board games. Like, uh, a lot of publishers now are making smaller boxes. You know? So, like, there's, like, Button Shy that do games that can basically fit in your wallet. There's, um, Wink Games. They make small ones. God. I can't do the training because now it's not activating the whole time. Get up, get up! Don't need to say stuff every time, dude. I get it. Keep going. I was planning on it. Oh, that's counting down, I see. Oh, no! It's dark! Well, this is gonna be hard if I have to do this section again now that I got the gems. cool thing to call a trophy, turret syndrome. Yikes, guys. And that was, that's the, the PS4 release that has the thing, so. 
Yeah, but the trophies, I don't think, would have been pulled over, right? Right, yeah, they would have. Hmm. Okay. I'm just saying, like, I had a PS3, and it's the same trophies. Same trophies? Same trophies. Same trophies? Sorry, I got a work thing. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. I didn't get that. Oh well. Ugh. Yeah, I'm not liking this new client very much. They're like, oh god damn it! Ah, oh, it took me all the way back to the fucking beginning. Well, I think that doesn't matter because I got it right. Yeah, okay, I can just leave. Um, but like the way they format their their stuff is really annoying. It's just not. I can't just copy and paste it because half of the friggin' things that they put in it can't be put into a file name. Damn it, they don't need all this information. Like, half of it is just like Spotify. It's like the s same 50 things over again. Just say your name and what specific thing it is about this ad. You don't need to add a bajillion stuff. Ow. God. The handling on these zoomers sucks. Don't find this suspicious, me driving a busted zoomer that's on fire. Crashing it in front of them. What's this? Oh, it's like a propaganda box. Gotcha. He's talking. Sacrifice is something you should do. This is a no hover zone. What do you mean this is a no hover zone? Everybody's hovering. What are you talking about, no hover zone? Do you mean like on the ground? I'm still hovering. Nothing so far. It's just like a generic line, but like you go, you getting off track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crew is what gross or whatever. Is that horrible smell? Oh, great! We do your dirty work in the sewers and come back smelling worse than a wet hip hog in a warm barn. Uh, I didn't even get in any this of the sewer could juice. Could have a serious impact on the lady factor. No. Just take a shower. I think it was my little lunch, dingus. Actually. Yeah, ding dang nice dunce. Work in the sewers, eh? I guess you're looking for that weapon upgrade. Oh my god, please give me a weapon upgrade. Lost the mod stashed in some crates at the pool. Ah, uh, I gotta go Find get it. it. And it's yours. <laughs> okay. Uh, ooh, whack a mole game? Can I play? Can I play the whack-a-mole? Ooh, I'm doing the hip hoppies. Nope, not long. Not long enough. Where's my car at? I just left it out here. Who's stealing my car? Please advise. Suspect's description. You can't just You can't just say please advise suspect description and then stop. You gotta give the description, guys. Sweeping.
Like that is the start of a statement, not a, the whole thing. Give me gun. Give me gun. I'm in. I'm in the gun room. Oh, here it is. Ah, oh, they give it to you right in front of the thing so you can test it out, eh? So what's that? Oh, it gives you a sight, I guess? The blaster is a good all-around choice with a nice rate of fire. This weapon requires more aiming ability. You can switch weapon modes at any time. You can combo your attacks by kicking and firing your weapon. Kick the first target, then shoot while kicking to automatically hit the second target. Okay. Kick it, kick a target? What do you mean kick a target? Like that? Is that a kick? Not quite. Try again. Kick, what do you mean kick? Shoot, almost at the same time. I don't have a kick. That's a stomp. That's a spin. That's a punch. I don't have a kick. What's he talking about kick? Yeah, roll. Oh, I can actually look first person. Oh no, the the horizontal axis is inverted. Can't change that. Nope. Jump, spin, then hit the fire. Jump, spin, then hit the fire? Jump, spin, fire. Try again. No. Kick, then shoot. Almost at the same time. What do you mean kick? There's no kick! Not quite. Try again. Kick, then shoot. Almost at the same time. Now that's a wastelander move. Oh, you okay, so no this is considered kick. You can find yellow ammo that's not a kick! Would you like to test your skills on the gun course? What the fuck are they talking about? Yes, I would like to try my skills. Let me in. Oh, we're going backwards this time. Ready, go! Oops, I hit a civilian. Oh, oh, gold one. Oh, this is so much stronger. Yeah. Got him. Ooh, that's a lot of smoke. Always fast. The assumption that I'm even looking in that the direction they're popping up in at the time they pop up is kind of ridiculous. Nice. Got a nice scheme. Rice. Oh my god! 
Okay, that one was a little closer to the guy can play. Jesus Christ. God, they expect you to do it so fast! No, god damn it! I wasn't pointing at them! Oh, that's annoying. I was definitely not pointing at them when I hit the trigger, and it fucking turned me before it shot. Whoo! Like that. Care to try for the course record? No, I, I passed. That's all I care about. I, I'm gonna say now it was a maybe on 100%ing. This is gonna be a no. I'm not gonna go through all those and get all the course records. That's that sounds like a nightmare. Ah, now I can decide. Now I can decide what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to Torn. I haven't talked to him in a while. Remember that guy? Be advised, I'm on foot. He's, uh, he's a uh, friggin' uh, revolution. Oh, he's nice, Dad. That guy? Oh no, the zoomer is slow. Swimming for suspects. Yeah, what was that? Um, what was that movie? A Perfect Marriage or something? Yeah, where she just finds like women's teeth and driver's licenses in a secret box. No. It's just a, a, the, how she reacts to that and the profile of a serial killer. Which, on one hand, I'm like, that's kind of fascinating, but on another hand, I'm just like, 90% of serial killers, they just have like a horrible complex imbued in them by society and their parents, who also had it imbued in them by society, to hate women. That's kind of it. Or if they were gay, to just like kill guys. It's like, great, so all, all you've proved is that society directly convinces people to commit sexual violence. I know, right? After like a whole movie, that whole movie is really messed up. As I like, the GG said it best, where he was just like, um, the area is secure. where he was just like, this is not the most disturbing movie on Netflix, but it is the best disturbing movie on Netflix. Yeah, like Serbian film where it's literally, it's like, it, it's satire about the government or something. I don't know. It's gross. And it's like, okay. Like, if you just want to make a gross movie, then make a gross movie. Don't pretend like there's some deeper message to it. Whereas, Gerald's Game, it's like, it actually has a lot to say. It's very thematically interesting. It's very well shot. It's very suspenseful. And it scared me. One of the Baron's mining no, they're very the creative about That's how they they problem. talk about that. The foreman's one of the underground's best informants. His name is Vin, and he's just valuable Diesel? enough to save. Find the warp gate at the oh god! Valuable enough to, to save. To the strip mine. Ew! Don't say it like that. Hey, wonder, how come we get all the crappy missions? Because I don't like you. Then why are we working with you? Whatever deal the Baron made with the Metalheads, the city's eco is almost gone. Like, we literally only associate with this guy because he has some idea of, like, the soon, revenge, I guess? I'm not fully understanding how we're involved in this. It feels very Mad Max right now, where we're just kind of the instrumental side character in someone else's story. Which isn't a terrible idea for a game. Like, um... I like it better than, like, how Pokemon does it, where it's like, here's a huge story, and you're also kind of there, you know, because you're just friends with the person who actually is doing stuff. Um, 
but like here it's like no nah, there's just like a bunch of political tension between a bunch of different parties in this town so you are you are just as much a part of it and you're like helping out different factions like that's interesting it's like fallout new vegas almost Fallout New Vegas is also good about that, where it's like you are just like a, a you know, your own personal character, so they couldn't make you too specific, so instead they're just like, okay, you can just influence all these other stories going on, and all these other stories are actually interesting, interconnected stories. It's good stuff. Like, that's the thing I'll say about this, is a lot of the gameplay... I am finding more fun. Um, it's it is weird that they went this route with the sequel, but like the story, I'm way more interested in. Like the story in the first one is just these guys are evil. Uh, go stop them. Uh, they stole these guys. Twist. These guys are missing because they got stolen. Um, but like this one is just like. I, I'm a smuggler, and I want to stop this, and so, since you're against that guy... So, like, they're all against the guy, but for very different reasons. And some of them are pretty morally dubious. Hold on, I'm gonna go talk to crew to get whatever mission lined up. Here we go, it's starting to splinter off a little bit. Oh, it's so slow. He's up my neck. I've murdered a man. I'm guessing it's also probably pretty loud on the, the stream, this car. So apologies if it's hard to hear me. I'm gonna dangle. Oh, oh! Clang. Like a glove. I have a proposition for you, Jack. You always do. Racing is the biggest sport in the city. <gasps> Racing? Errol is the undisputed grand champion. Aw, but this is the worst it's Zoomers. And With dangerous the, on the track, first game Zoomers, uh, Racing would have been awesome. Only a fool in fact, there's only one race racing Mary. mission that's and like that's a time trial in the me. first one. A client of mine is looking for a fast driver for her racing team. Mm, Here's I a do like to race. Pass to get you into the stadium section. Uh, and your contract with just a few trifles for me. <laughs> I don't trust I've that. already signed your name to save time. Hmm? I don't think that's how that we works. Racers hereby agree to give crew all proceeds from race earnings, endorsement fees, broadcast royalties, syndication residuals, vehicle sponsorships, small appearance fees, collectible card assets, fast food tie-ins, use of likeness rights, talk show deals, clothing lines, all print rights, including book, novella, comic, pamphlet, ticket tape, neon sign, and bathroom graffiti designs. <sighs> Toy rights, shoe lines, mood rings, game rights. Game rights? Vitamin endorsement, city kickback, movie <laughs> <laughs> and of course, all death and dismemberment accident insurance claims. <laughs> we can work out the tiny details later. If you can get from here to the race garage near the stadium in less than three minutes, my client said she would consider letting you drive for her team. Make me proud. Mm. Oh, great. I got a race to get to the race. Hello, get on. Jack! Jack, get on! Oh my god, hold on. I got freaking. Another spam bot! There's like one every stream lately. It's the same, like, buy followers. It's like, hey, bud, I don't want to buy followers. What's the point of having a ton of followers if none of them are real? It gives me nothing. Sorry, what were you saying? Oh. Okay. Oh, this is easy. You just go over the water. And say, oh, there's still a guy. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. Oh, what the fuck? The cop did that. Can I just, like, hit retry? No. Fuck. Oh, even getting out of the water is going to be annoying as shit right now. Oh, now I'm, I'm wanted. Double jump. God. Double jump, Jack! It won't do the second jump because it keeps hitting the thing. God. Can you guys please. Oh, God. 
god. That's the thing, the zoomer wouldn't be hard if there wasn't all this aimless traffic. Like, there's no design to it, there's no, like, coordination of any kind. It's just random cars jumbled around for no reason. Races are gonna suck. Zoomers do not handle well at all. Ooh, daytime in this part now. Fuck you, dude. I think. The big thing when it comes to vehicle controls is, does this feel like it would be easier to handle IRL? Like if I was actually driving this, do I think I'd be able to do a better job than I am right now with this controller? And uh, the answer is yes. Most definitely, this feels like it would handle so much better if I was like in it using my actual hands and feet, rather than just like wiggling it around with this shitty controller. not how to drive. God, how far is it? Maybe this is supposed to be like a challenge or whatever, but like, what is the challenge? What are the parameters here? God, stop it with your pod racer ass. God, get out of the fucking way! See it? There'll just be a random conga line of four of them just being slow for no reason. God! Get out of the fucking way. My god, you stupid lumps! Just move! What kind of city are you living in where you're just able to just stand around like an idiot in the middle of the street? You get so so fucking screamed at in any city doing that shit. You cannot just stand in the middle of the street looking at your watch. It's like, move! People have places to be! God, am I going like the wrong direction? I can't tell. That's the problem with having your waypoint just like at the edge of a map. I'm not gonna make it. I don't even know if I'm close. Hold on. I'm gonna check the map to know. I am not. I'm still way away. Not even close. What the fuck is that? Yeah, I'll try if I have to. Have to eventually. Let's go. It's also really frustrating to have uh, your waypoint at the edge of the map in this kind of a map. There's not like a grid or anything, so you can't just head straight towards it. So you have to kind of figure out which turns you're supposed to make to get closer to it. And sometimes, it'll be out on the edge of the map pointing in a di uh, the wrong direction for you to find the waypoint. Just knowing, like, I have to go over there, it's like, great, but, like, there's basically only one way to go over there. It's not clear. Like, in this part, you have to kind of go this way to get over to it. Nope, you don't. I messed up. Well, now I screwed up, and there's no way to restart the mission until I run out of my two-minute timer. I'm not going to be able to make it in time now. Nope, it's game old enough for that. God damn it. Let's 
I'm saying this map is just nonsense. I don't know who designed this city, but they're an idiot. <laughs> That's, that's the one benefit of it being hover vehicles. Oh my god! Get out of the fucking way! I think that's the other thing, is that the AI for all the other drivers is garbage. They'll just slam right into you. They'll see you coming directly at them from several feet away, and they'll just slam straight into you. Like, these are all interesting ideas that, similar to the first Jack game, it's like, these are all interesting ideas that would eventually get fleshed out in other games into, like, really interesting stuff. But, like, it just feels so primitive in comparison to, like, every game that's come out in the last, like, decade and a half. Why am I doing this? I've said it before, you can just slam into like different, like all the different people, and it almost has no consequence as long as you don't hit a cop. So why am I wasting my time? God damn it. Why am I wasting my time? Turn the camera! Motherfucker, turn the camera to where I'm facing! Jesus Christ, it takes like a full five seconds to convince the camera that you looked a different way. Why the fuck would it not just automatically swing it to where I'm looking, like, as a character? Instead, it's just like, you turned around? I don't, I don't think you turned around. Give me a minute. Give me a minute to think about whether or not you turned around. God, I still have so far to go. God damn it. Yeah, there's really no reason to, like, go up that high aside from to, like, avoid suspicion. But, like, you only... you can slam into everybody except the cops without a problem, without there being any suspicion raised. So, why am I bothering with going up to the zoomer level where they can hurt me? Up, up, up! Go up the ramp! Fine, fuck it. Out of the way, out of the way. I'm like an outlaw or whatever, this makes sense dramatically. Sidewalks? Oh, we're going. We don't need sidewalks. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, the, the, like, um, the, the three golden rules of stealth games are, uh, it needs to be clear when you are and are not in cover. It needs to be clear when people do and do not see you. And if you are found, you need to have the option to fight back. So, like, as long as those three things are in your stealth game, or you have a good reason for not having those in your stealth game, then you're good. Sly Cooper uh, does not have the third one, but it has the first two to such a, like, well-oiled degree that it's, like, it's fun. Yeah. It's also like, um, the setbacks in Sly Cooper are not huge. 
like, the checkpoints will take you back, like, maybe a few hundred feet. So, you know, having decent checkpoints in a stealth game is also very important. God, I'm still so far away. Yeah, they're really annoying. Oh no, it went down the wrong path. Fuck. That's what I'm saying, it's like the fucking waypoint is just off in the distance somewhere, so it's not even clear that that was the wrong path until you get too far away to care. Ah! I think that green field might actually be the goal. So, which would mean... That's... No, that's just how this city is fucking set up, basically. I mean, I guess I could go straight that way? Maybe? Let me try that this time. Alright, breakthrough. Nope, why not? Fuck you, is why not. I'm sure they explained it with some nonsense, but like... Entrance denied. Fuck off. That makes me wonder if that green wall is gonna be in the way when I get over there. If I'm just wasting my time when I need to unlock stuff first. No. Yeah, it's very difficult. Well, the thing is also, like, I'm not holding down the accelerator the whole time because a lot of the time it's really hard to turn if you're going full speed because the turns are very sluggish. Which is, again, like, really frustrating because the zoomers in the first game were, like, so responsive and you could, like, snap around and like it took some time to get used to but like it felt good this i've been i've done this a bunch now and it's like it still feels really bad it just feels like like i'm just having to drag everywhere around and like i just drift so far off of where i'm pointing Again, this is where I fucking went down the wrong path because they fucking tricked me. Maybe it's not. I can't remember because everything looks the same. Nope, yep. Went down the wrong fucking path. Because everything looks the same, but it's fucking made like an anthill. So you have to, like, go down this specific path if you want to make it to another path of two miles down the road. And there's no way to know until you're way too far down the path to turn around. I am the face of even city. Ah, fuck no, this is the spot where I went down the wrong path because it's fucking... It's like most of the, it's like, organically leads you down that path, not the one you're supposed to go down. Oh my god, oh my god. And... Nope. That wasn't the goal, I don't know why it was green. Ah, fuck. 
that's the thing is like this isn't necessarily a bad game but it's definitely it's from that era when it's like you would have like three games you get one game on christmas and you basically have it for like several months until your birthday or whatever so like any game commanded all of your attention because you didn't have a bunch of them but nowadays like games are designed to like draw you in from like moment one so going back to when games could afford to just be kind of like sluggish and take a while to get going is uh it's it's interesting it it asks a lot more of you as the player to like engage with it whereas modern games it's like every aspect of it is designed to just hold your hand and get you to the point where it's consistently fun Like, uh, for a thousand dollars, I will dress up in a black suit with a hat and wait just outside of your funeral. So that everybody thinks you're in the seats. <laughs> it's very true, yeah. I mean, to a point. There, there was a point where it's, like serial killer like shows started to become a thing or documentaries so they were like oh i'm gonna be famous now whereas before that they they did it for the art of it baby they they would kill people because they hated people you know they didn't do it because oh i'm gonna get popular nah they did it good but it's like in leslie vernon when he talks to the old when he talks to the, like, old slasher, it's just like, back then it was all about the numbers. They, it's, they're artists nowadays. <laughs> what these kids have done. All right, I'm giving it one more try here, and then I'm gonna go do Torn's mission. This is, this is frustrating. Well. Okay, that was a mulligan, I'm doing that again. Yeah. It is bizarre to think that people would just use actual physical maps for so long. Like, even when I was a kid, we were using, like, MapQuest printouts. So, like, you had specific directions. Well, that's also the thing, is that when you used maps, you wouldn't just do it the whole time while you were driving. You would kind of... Yeah, like, if you were going on a long trip, you would, you would like, go out, get a road atlas, and, like, look through it, plot out your course, you know, call around. Yeah, map quests, that's what I'm saying. Is you, you would go to... It, MapQuest was, like, the first, like, really popular one. And then, like, Yahoo Maps came around. And then Google Maps ended up being the best one, so people just used that. Um, but, like... Yeah, back in the day, that was that was your option. It's, like, that service became pretty cool. I'm sure there was, like, some kind of number you could call and be, like... Hey, can you tell me directions for how to get from here to there? I'm gonna go to Disneyland. And they'd be like, okay, buddy, here you go. Be sure to write it down. You got your custom stationery. Oh, yeah. See how lost y'all get when he completely forgets several times to tell you that there's a turn coming up. I know you do that shit. 
Oh, don't worry. You don't gotta tell me you do that shit. Got a lot more time, but I still don't think I can make it. Quite a lot further along. So I might be able to see this. Just I have to keep looking at the map and look up to watch out for obstructions. Oh, it's over here, I think. Oh Jesus. Oh god. Oh god. I think I'm almost there. Uh, I can't tell. Oh my god, it zipped all the way down. What the fuck? It, like zipped around. Oh god. Oh, I'm like right there. Oh, it's right there. Fuck. No, I'm going to have to come back to that one. That was the closest I've gotten and it was just not close at all. Oh, hold on. Actually, since I'm in this area, I'm going to figure out where the specific endpoint is. They said it's the stadium. So up here, I guess? So yeah, I was so close. I don't know how much better I can do, though. That was like... They expect you to do it, like, perfect. I guess it is initiation for, like, a, a friggin' Fast and Furious-style, like, illegal racing ring, so... I can't blame them too much. For, uh, being, being difficult. This is a nightmare. Hold on, how do I do the thing? How do I, where's, this, where's the guy? It's down there. Oh, I'm not even in charted territory. You know what? I'm gonna call it for today. I'm close enough to over two hours, so... Thanks very much for inviting me into your home, computer, tablet, laptop, PC, gaming, console, Roku, Apple TV, however it is you watch today, whether it's past, present, or future, past broadcast tabs, or with the Archive channel, Iggy Kid Twitch Archive, that's three words, Iggy Kid Twitch Archive. Uh, be sure to check that out, and check out my personal YouTube, Iggy and the Ape, they're both linked down below on the browser version. Follow me on Twitter, at Iggy D Kid. I post, you know, I tweet there when I post up a new video, or when I go live here on Twitch. Follow subscribe use your twitch prime sub which amazon prime connected to your twitch and you get a free sub every month use that on me i would appreciate it a great deal um i hope you'll join me on saturday i'm gonna start up an oath project that i've been wanting to quite a while for quite a while so that's gonna be fun uh but yeah that'll be like three or something on saturday so once again thank you very much for watching and hey if nobody else has told you this, I'll tell you this. You're a good kid. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your week. Let's see if there's anybody to raid over to right now. Uh, the Brothers Murph I could raid over to, so let's let's do that real quick. All right? All right, so be sure to let them know I sent you. Enjoy uh, what they're doing. Looks like some kind of board game. Hold on. The bro nope, no space. Brothers Murph. All right. Let them know I sent you. Have a good old time over there with the brothers Murph. Goodbye. Goodbye. Uh, goodbye.